cooking for cat today I'm gonna show you how to make a sauce out of nothing this is the uh, cheapest the easiest and a sauce you need the fewest ingredients to make right we're talking pan sauce pan sauce or gravy some people call it a gravy what you need for this is you need some butter you need some olive oil ideally right uh, some form of protein does not have to be a steak it can be chicken this works really well with chicken flour something to glaze with some stock some veggie stock works beef stock chicken stock the way we're gonna make this sauce is we're gonna sear off this steak we're gonna baste it we're gonna pull the steak and you have all those good yum yums in the bottom of the pan right we're gonna deglaze this pan with just a little bit of butter we're gonna add some flour this is a kind of called a roux right we're gonna make a, a roux not like you know calm down we're making pan sauces here all right it's easy, easy breezy. Everybody just, we're gonna hit it with some chicken stock. We're gonna stir and we got a sauce. That's, that's literally it. This is the easiest. Charlie, do you wanna say hi? Hi, say hi. This is Charlie, it's my sweet boy. Oh, we got hair all over the food. Anyways, uh, I'm going medium high heat on my little induction burner thing that I don't really like. I'm just gonna season the steak. This isn't this this isn't really about cooking steaks, but if you if you know if you if you're not really familiar or comfortable cooking steaks in a pan, then you know we'll, we'll get into that a little bit. So I'm just gonna salt this ribeye. Nice salty boy. Right, I just let that dry out in my uh refrigerator is what they call those uh for about an hour before i brought it out said it got up to room temp a little bit of salt's all we're doing right now you don't need to uh render fat from a protein down to make the sauce you can just make a dark roux shout out kb shout out victor tango's veggie poutine that dark roux changed my life um uh, if, you're, if you're vegetarian, you can literally just flour, butter, cook this down, vegetable stock, water. Uh, you could do wine. You could deglaze with some wine, cook it down. But this show is about the basics. And I just want to teach you the easiest way to make a, a yummy sauce. Cool? All right. Let's get into this. Also, we got the microphone. We got a... Oh no, I didn't mean, I was just showing you my, all right, let's cook a steak. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of butter. If I had a smaller pan, like that one over there, um, I wouldn't need as much. But for this, uh, I'm just gonna use two tablespoons. I'm not gonna go crazy with butter basting here because I am gonna add more fat and this sauce is really rich and viscous. Um, so you don't want too much butter, or you do. I mean, that's fine. Like, uh, like. If you guys weren't watching, I'd probably use more for sure. All right, a couple tablespoons of butter, probably two tablespoons of olive oil. That was two tablespoons, something like that. All right, so olive oil, butter, hot pan. You know, uh, steak. Yeah, just kind of sear that fat a little bit first. So we're gonna sear this steak. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do a little basting with some uh, some fresh garlic. I got some thyme. Um, just gonna baste it till it's about medium. I like medium on my ribeyes, when I'm, especially when I'm doing this kind of pan method. I really want to render down some of that fat. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and salt the other side. Yummy, yummy. All right, let's see what we got. Forgot my tongs. That's okay. 
So at this point, you take some fresh thyme. Again, this isn't really a steak tutorial, you know? This is, I just want to show you how to make this pan sauce. So I'm just going to base this. So again, you can do this with any, any protein, you know, especially some pork loin or like a leaner protein. This would be nice, you know? Make them feel special. Any kind of herbs you want near, any kind of aromatics, you know, onion, garlic, shallots, whatever. If you ever, somebody's house, and Tina's in there making chicken, and Tina's like, Oh no, uh, I dried out the chickens. Oh no, the party's ruined. You're like, No, oh, Tina, I got you, babe. Let's, uh, give me some butter, some flour. It's gonna be okay. All right, so once I sear that protein, I go ahead and take these out. I'm gonna let these all rest here, kind of let this relax a little bit before we go ahead and cut into it. And go ahead and turn this heat down. If it's too hot, when you do this, you're gonna break your sauce. Give it a second, you know, if you gotta like, go get a glass of wine, relax. If it's your first time doing this, you might wanna use a whisk. The trick to this would be to Add a little bit of your stock at first. It'll be kind of aggressively, you know, uh, and you're going to stir there. And once that starts coming together and thickening up, then you can add the rest of it, right? If you do all this and it's too thick, just add more stock. If you don't have any more stock, add some water. If you don't have any water, you know, add some cream or some butter or whatever. You just got to loosen it up, right? The longer this sits on the heat, the harder it gets. If it's too thin, you just take a little bowl. Put a tablespoon of butter, melt it in the microwave, tablespoon of flour, mix it up till it's like a pasty pasty. Pour it in there, stir it up, it'll thicken it right up, right? Same thing if your sauce breaks. Little trick, learn that, working at Chili's. Working the to-go's at Chili's. And the manager would go back there and thicken up the soup that was, it showed up to the restaurant in a bag anyway, but he, he doctor it up real nice. Probably shouldn't tell their business. My bad, Brinker. Love those BB wings though, for real. All right. I use a little bit of butter, and I'm gonna kinda use it to deglaze this pan a little bit. Kinda pick up all the goodies. There we go, right? Quarter cup of flour. Now, I don't really know the measurements, so we're, we're, we're doing this as we go. If I'm wrong about the quarter cup, I'll try to like fix that at the end. Again, too thick, add more stock. Too thin, butter, melt, flour, bam. Chilies! Chilies. Uh, I think quarter cup's too much, but we're gonna go with it anyway. All right, normally, I'm gonna piss some people off. You definitely need to season your roux, but you have all that nice beef fat in here. You all have that salt we've already used. You don't really need to season this because it's already seasoned. You're bringing it to here. See that? All right. Where it's nice and thick. It's vegetarians, right? If we're not doing uh, meat in this and we're just doing butter and flour, Take that butter and that flour and cook it till you can get this as dark as you can. Darker that goes, the better it's gonna be, 100%. Okay, cool. All right, uh, I got chicken stock here. I have a cup and a half. I think we're only gonna use a cup, but I'll, uh, I'll try to remember and put it on the recipe thing, right? So we're only gonna pour about three quarters of a cup to begin. We're gonna stir like hell because that's the most important part to stir, cool? Steam bath. And once you kind of got it incorporated pretty well, go ahead and add the rest. All right. Once you get, once you pour this in and starting to thicken up, I'm gonna put that in the lowest setting, right? 
So I think a quarter cup might have been a little too much. So I don't want it to get too far. It's going to get too thick. But if it does, I'll show you. We'll add chicken stock. We can make mistakes together. I don't know how to measure. Nice. All right, at this point, I'm going to put our nice basting herbs and our garlic back in. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this heat. That's it. That is all she wrote on this. We're going to go ahead and add juice from one lemon. I love acid. <laughs> ah! Um, no, but like lemon juice, lime juice. Um, I like to finish any sauce I'm doing with some fresh citrus. All right, so recap, right? Sear to steak. You can do pork, chicken, whatever you want, right? Two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil. Right? Seared it both sides, basted it, pulled the steak off to let it rest, add one tablespoon of butter to the pan, and then I added a quarter cup of flour, which is a little too much for one person, but if you're feeding more than one, then whatever. And if you have leftover gravy, you can use it in soups and stocks, whatever. I don't really care what you do with the gravy, honestly. Do whatever you want. Make it nasty. I'm sorry. Anyways, we deglazed with, we ended up using a cup and a half of chicken stock. Again, you can use vegetable base as well. Um, Stir, 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 let it simmer till it thick, till it gets sticky, sticky. Once it gets sticky and sticky, we add juice of one fresh lemon. Stir, 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 and that's it, right? All we've done is season the steak, a little bit of salt. You can do this, I'm just gonna put this right in the cast iron that I just cooked it in, right? That's rustic, this show isn't, we're not fancy at all here. This is all about cheap and delicious, and this, my friends, hopefully, is cheap and delicious, and very, very easy. Again, nothing fancy here. I'm just cutting her up. You know, family style, this is the jam. I'd like to thank Aldi for this beautiful ribeye. Right, and we're not really big on the garnishing game for this, but you know, if you want to add a little bit of texture here, if you have some other nice herbs. And I think that's it. Remember how to zoom. Well, I gotta zoom. Well, I got zoomed on that. Oh, crazy. I made that look worse. This is it, friends. So, this is a pan sauce, right? From here, we can make so many other types of sauces. I feel like this is a really good point to start. Pan sauce. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Tune in next week uh, for Cooking with Cat. Back to the basics. Bruh. We're going basic. And this ain't no pumpkin spice latte. <coughs> Garlic. Charlie, you wanna say bye? I wish you could talk. <laughs>